Oh man, what's up everybody? Whoa, what's going on with my uh, my camera here? It's getting stuck on the on the edge of the map. Pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, I mean, you can actually see the map edge. Oh yeah, but I didn't introduce myself, or did I? Uh, well, I didn't introduce who's in the game and what's going on at all. This is the rehosted game 2.0 of the Myth World Cup 2012. It is uh, Thundercox versus R3. And it looks like QWERTY or Flatline or whoever is lagging out and uh, making all these rehosts possible. And I'm thankful for that because I got to witness some AI action and I was always curious what happened. Uh, in, a, in, uh, in that kind of si situation, if the myth game just kind of let it play or, or what. I have no idea how it reads that. But uh, yep, we just were looking at the red Thundercox team and they are starting in the north here, in the north uh, northwest. In the southeast is the R3 team. And... Uh, what does that mean? I bet no one even went to check their trade. I guess somebody could have uh, somebody could have gone in to the film and you know looked at the other team's trade to see what they were doing. Uh, it's a possibility. And uh, yeah, it looks like we have uh, six players again for our three, but we have Ghost instead of the mystery person from the first game. I I've still don't remember. I should have looked it up, but I forgot all about it. That's going to plague me the rest of the game. Uh, so Rat King, Helicopter Monkey, Pilot, Ghost, Kramisi, Amuse, and K-Size for our three and for the Thundercocks. It's Gamer, Cave, Storm Rider, QWERTY, or Flatline, and Ramirez. And it's QWERTY. QWERTY may or may not be Flatline. That's just what I read in the forum, but I have no idea. Maybe it's actually QWERTY. But who knows. Okay, so, what's going on? Looks like whites were taken, so the trade is going to be a little bit different this time around. Um, both teams are taking whites. Maybe they took whites last game too but I just didn't see him that could that is another possibility so yes I think that they are going to do the white pop picking up the pieces and throwing them at the forest giants and I'm pretty sure that that is pretty standard actually now that I think about it because that is pretty much the only way to deal with these forest giants other than um, somehow hitting them with a bunch of mortars Although keep in mind that unlike um, unlike Acts of Cruelty, on this particular map, uh, the Forest Giants cannot go up on impassable terrain. So they're stuck to the paths here. They're, so in other words, they won't be able to walk on, uh, on this kind of terrain here where nobody else can go. Um, in uh, in acts of cruelty, that is kind of that's what they do. They they just go everywhere. So R three getting some small pus there. It doesn't look like they were successful. And interestingly enough, oh okay yeah, I thought maybe uh, maybe thundercocks were gonna sink their whites, but uh, maybe they're gonna pop them after all. Flag. Capture. And it looks like they're actually no flag. Capture. They're gonna pop them. All right, so there you have it. Uh, yep, and it is flag rally. Flag. So we have uh, we have some goals here. Gamer, he's going flag. to Capture. tag with these goals here. And I guess just hold the flag. And uh, so Gamer, he's captaining for the Thundercocks. My guess is he's going to be uh, playing defense. And if there is a defense. I guess he's just gonna be using goals, perhaps. Oh no, this might, this may be Gamer here. Yep, this is Gamer here. He's going to be defending a flag eight, which is a pretty good choice because you can put the Solus up on these hilly areas and that way they can, uh, you know, 
do something against uh, against the forest giants. So here we have uh, Kremisi. He's going to be uh, taking a little bit of damage. He only uh, was able to take out one of those berserks. And uh, he's going to be running away. Uh, Quirty is following him, chasing him around. Flag captured. So uh, Kremisi uh, falling back to his flag with uh, Ramirez and Quirty in tow. And Rat King has the other forest giant for R3. They're both going to head back to their home, which uh, I don't know if that's... Uh, I guess that could be that could be a good thing for them to do. And there's some other stuff happening as well. Uh, R3 is going to be kind of pushing their way to the north here, to where a gamer is, while while uh, the thundercocks just juggernaut through the middle here, and those mortars can hardly keep up look how slow they are they're just now Flag reaching captured. the halfway point of the map and actually uh, thundercocks are going to about face all except for QWERTY who is he's going to uh, he's going to get in there and uh, yep we see ghost he's uh, threatening with his mortar but uh, he is probably toast as uh, all of these berserks now turn their attention on the ghost and ghost doesn't have anything to defend this with oh man that is unfortunate he uh, his attack is interrupted and he's forced his mortar just barely gets out and just destroys himself there but while that was happening at Kremisi and Rat King responded with their own forest giants um, and now they're going to run away because Kermisi just got trapped and died and uh, he just got surrounded Flag and captured. now it looks like Rat King might do the same Rat King giving up here I'm not sure what he's doing um, in a last ditch effort he manages to stone one of the tro or uh, sorry forest giant so that was that worked out for him there but uh, not so much because of that forest giant and victory imminent already for our three interestingly enough and uh, Kermisi is on this flag but uh, I feel like this forest giant can just clean it up if it wanted to and here's uh, K size and Muse defending uh, flag 4 for R3 so this is the flag that R3 needs flag 8 and uh, wow nice shot there by helicopter monkey pilot taking out the defending uh, mortar dwarf gamers mortar dwarf being taken out now it, his position is not so not looking so so hot I mean Especially if if uh, helicopter monkey pilot has some more stuff to move in there. Oh look, and there's uh there's some target dummies if you're interested. And here we go. Uh Kermisi, he is pretty much resigned. He knows he's gonna die. He's he's going to attempt to He's going to attempt to uh, to stave off the inevitable bit by bit here as he uh, as he tries to push back these Flag mortar dwarves captured. while soaking up the damage with his thrall. And uh, thundercocks are able to get the tags elsewhere. Flag captured. But here we have uh, here we have Muse and look at these percentages 45. I mean we saw it briefly before, but. Uh, but yeah, R3 is definitely down, and I didn't quite see what happened there. It looks like that it looked as if that mortar dwarf kind of suicided. That was a pretty bizarre occurrence there, and oh, that that wasn't a very good shot either. 
Helicopter Monkey Pilot should be careful here. He wants to get these Solus. He manages one shot, and he does a little bit of damage to the Stygian Knights. I mean, they're very vulnerable to explosions. And the Berserks are going to engage here. They may just take this flag, you know. Uh, and it looks as if it looks as if it looks as if the flag is going to be taken. One Stygian at a time. Oh, it's so close, so close. But yes, the the Solus now are trying to defend. <laughs> it is just a matter of time. That is pretty much it. Flag captured. Sudden death now. Sudden. And uh, why was it sudden death? I don't know why it's sudden death. I guess uh, I guess there's flag another flag captured. that's being contested somewhere, but I didn't quite see where it was. It it may have been uh, it may have been this flag, but uh, Kremisi inevitably he got killed by Qwerty. It looks like. And uh, R3 was uh, R3 did manage to defend this flag. Look at how many mortar dwarves they still had. Pretty ridiculous, pretty ridiculous game there. Um, R3 takes it in the end. So game number two goes to R3. Pretty surprising there since they were down in percentages almost the entire game. And uh, so I think that was Helicopter Monkey Pilot that managed to get that get that win for his team 17 kills 110 damage and he didn't even have a forest giant uh, QWERTY did 153 damage and 32 kills 32 is quite a lot um, the only player that even came close for Thundercox was Storm Rider 105 damage for him so there you have it for game number two we're gonna go ahead and move into game number three the series is tied up one all and uh, you know anything could happen in this match I'm really excited to see what's going to happen this next this next game so uh, I'm the new mutator I'm bringing you uh, hopefully you're enjoying these uh, casts of these games and we're gonna go ahead and move into game number three right now so uh, you know, stay with me if you want, and if you don't, uh, that's cool too. But uh, hopefully, we'll see you in just a moment. 